Anyway. Let's move into the Miami Dolphins. Seven and nine last year. Division championship odds plus 2,000. Yeah. So basically non-existent. Uh, strength of schedule is number 20 this year. Turnover margin last year was number 11 in the league. They were plus three. Pretty good, right? Uh, head coach Brian, uh, Brian Flores. He was the New England defensive coordinator, although he didn't have that title necessarily. We'll talk more about <laughs> that later. He called plays on defense. Yeah. Uh, yards per play, they were number 25 in the league last year at 5.3. Defense, total yards per play, they were number 30 at 6.1. How this team went 7-9 and nine last year, I really have no idea. Um, I mean, they, they're they they're projected favorite in only three games. Their over-under is 4.5. To go over is minus 145, which shocks me. And to go under is plus 115. Uh, I mean, you they bring in Ryan Fitzpatrick. They bring in Josh Rosen. To try and shore, they they gave away Ryan Tannehill. Yep. Um, they're trying to rebuild this new offensive coordinator Chad O'Shea. Uh, he was New England's wide receivers coach. Defensive coordinator Patrick Graham. He was Green Bay's linebacker coach. Uh, they drafted Christian Wilkins on defense. I, you know, it, th- this team. Here's the shocking stat about this team, right? They went seven and one, which is eighty-seven point five percent in one score games last year. 21 teams since 1995 have done that. All went at least 10 and 6. So every win <laughs> that Miami had last year, they went 7 and 9. The right. only team in history to win seven one point games, or not one point, seven one, one score, score games, games, yes. To not win at least 10, they went 7 and 9. Every game they won was by one score. Now, it, it had to do with turnover margin, it had to do with all sorts of stuff. I mean, crazy it, flukiness. I mean, yeah, it's what. How do you feel about? It? Oh, here's the other. Uh, they were, they, they hit ninety percent of their field goals last year, and their opposition uh, hit seventy five percent. That is the. There's no so way you can analyze that. There's they, no way you hit, can predict that. Yeah, at all. they hit the seventh highest yep. in the league, and their opponents hit the third uh, like worst. Uh, worst. Yeah, and that plus fifteen percent. Field goal edge well, yeah, made up a ton only, of points. When you only win by one score, that's that's amazing. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. And there's no way to predict those types of things, no, right? Like, almost so impossible. So you could take your analysis of a team and just completely throw it away if weird things like that happen. I, I like, felt good about Josh Rosen coming into this situation because I was like, anything has got to be better than Arizona. And then you look at their roster, and it's... Man, like the, the, he played behind a really crap offensive line. And I think the play calling would be better for him. But he's still playing behind an offensive line that is just not built for pass protection. I don't know that he's going to play behind this offensive line. No, I think, I think Fitzpatrick plays early. I think Fitzpatrick, play, I think Fitzpatrick plays the whole time. I, you think I all think, season? Yeah, I think. And he's getting on up there, man. It don't matter. He still could put up points. He can still sling that thing. Right, he can st- I think he'll sling it early. I think he gets hurt. No, no, he's not getting hurt. It, but he's, behind that offensive line, I he'll think be right. he'll be all right. He's gonna dump the ball off Kenyon Drake and 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 those guys. They'll they'll be fine. I'm, I don't I don't like this team. I like them better than Vegas. I think I got them five wins. Um, and I'm, a lot of that is I've got I, them three and thirteen. I mean that doesn't surprise me. He, here I, I know I'm out on a limb on some of these. This team actually grades worse than the zero and sixteen. Brown's team. I know. Oh, no, there's no question. That team had talent. That yeah. team had talent. It just had cinder blocks up to their knees in in Hugh Jackson. I mean, you yes. put that kind of stink on a guy, then you can't just get that oh, off. Oh, yeah. No, you're right. So here's my deal. I think Brian Flores is going to be a really good head coach. Yeah. I, I actually think he's going to be not He's not going to be the next Belichick, which everybody's trying to do by hiring his assistants, but I think he runs a professional organization. I don't think in any way, shape, form, or fashion they're going to go in tanking. I think this team is going to play hard. I think he's going to hold people accountable. Like three days into training camp, he fired the offensive line coach. No, you're not cutting it. And I'd rather fire you today. Once again, what's the rule? As soon as you know you have a losing hand, you fold it. You fold it. If you know this guy's not your guy three days in, hit the bricks, Tommy. It's time to go. I think they're going to play hard. I think they're going to play smart. They're not going to make a lot of dumb mistakes. And uh, I think he's going to make the defense better. I think that's one of the reasons they drafted defense when I, I think they probably needed offense and offensive line help. Um, and I think Ryan Fitzpatrick is a good enough quarterback 
to where there's going to be at least two or three games that he's going to start where he's going to put up 30 points. He's just going to do it. And there's going to be three or four games where he's going to throw more pick sixes than touchdowns. Like, yeah. like that's going to happen. So five, I think – I think if they can win two or three games on their own and Ryan Fitzpatrick just has that Fitz magic game two or three times, I think they get to five wins. It could, it could 100% happen. Okay. So you uh, you like them a little more than I do. A little more than you do. 